before I get started, I just want to say this is modified code from another YouTuber linked in the description. In your scene, you're going to create a new camera 3D node. And for my scene, I'm just going to move it up. In the camera, you're going to create a new script. In that script, we're going to define a few variables. Export var acceleration equals 25. Export var move speed equals 5. And export var mouse speed equals 300. This is basically your sensitivity. This is how fast you move, and this is how quickly you'll get to that speed. And we're also going to define two variables, velocity and look angles, and we're going to set them to vector 3.0 and vector 2.0. In order to get the mouse input, down here we're going to write func underscore input event, which is a built-in function. Then if event is input event mouse motion, look angles minus equals event.relative divided by mouse speed. In our process function, we're going to limit how far the camera can look up and down. So we're going to write look angles dot y equals clamp, look angles dot y comma pi over negative 2 comma pi over 2. Next, we're actually going to set the rotation of the camera by writing set underscore rotation vector 3 look angles dot y comma look angles dot x comma 0. Next, what we're going to do is write a function to take the input from the user and turn that into a vector. So we need to define our inputs first. So go into project, project settings, and input map. So in here, what I'm going to do is define six actions. Move forward, move backward, move left, move right, move up, and move down. These can be whatever you want them to be. But what I'm going to do is use W, S, A, D, and then space for up and shift for down. And once you're done, you could close out of this window. After this, I'm going to write a function to get our input vector. After that, I'm going to write func update direction var dir equals vector 3. Then write if input dot is action pressed, move underscore forward, dir plus equals vector 3 dot forward. What we're going to do is paste this a bunch of times for each of our movements. And make sure to change the vector 3 to the same direction as stated in the input. After that, we're going to say if dir equals vector 3.0, velocity equals vector 3.0. And we're going to return dir.normalized. Next, in our process function, write var direction equals update direction which will get the value that we just found. And then write if direction dot length squared is greater than zero, velocity plus equals direction times acceleration times delta. And then to limit the speed so it doesn't go above move speed, we're going to put if velocity dot length is greater than move speed, velocity equals velocity dot normalized times move speed. And finally, for movement, just write translate velocity times delta. There's actually one more thing that we need to write in our ready function, which is input dot set mouse mode input dot mouse mode captured, which will make it so that way we can move our mouse as far as we want and it won't be limited by the window. And there you have it, a very basic free camera in the Godot game engine. Make sure to like, subscribe, and join the Discord down below. Thanks for watching.